Mic test. Is it working? Before this, I sat for 30 minutes explaining everything, and in the end, I found out it wasn't recording anything. <laughs> Okay, create this scenario. You found your friend's IP address. You were smart enough to put it on Nmap and see what all vulnerabilities it has, which all ports are open on the PC. And you somehow found a way to exploit those vulnerabilities. And you're inside your friend's computer right now. <laughs> Well, what can you do once you're inside someone's PC? I'd say not much, because you are a default user on their system. You are not an administrator, so you really cannot do much on their system except see their files and download some small petty files which are generated by the system itself and not their juicy content which they have hidden behind the firewall, behind the administrator access. So only they can see those files and not anyone else who gets inside. So in this video, we are talking about privilege escalation, or in simple words, just making yourself the administrator. Now it sounds easy, and it is easy because you might see that our vulnerabilities make a lot of things easy. First of all, if you haven't seen the first video in this series, click on the card on the top right corner of the screen and check it out. It is where I showed you how to get inside someone's PC in the first place, a Windows system. So in that one, we had used Icecast or header override as our exploit and we gained access. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, I really, really suggest you go check out the previous video. It will help you a lot in this video as well. Real exciting stuff. So we had used Try Hack Me before this, the room called Ice. It's amazing. It gives us a victim PC, a virtual machine, which is basically a Windows 7 machine. It's got a few exploits on it and I have already cracked into it. See the previous video to see how to crack into one. So as you see, we are inside a meter operator shell right now. And I'd run a little ls command here, and it gave us a list of all the files. So this proves that it is working. I did get privs, which gives us privileges, all the things which we are allowed to do on the system. Now, since we are a default user, we really don't have many things over here. As you see, there's just five privileges, and that is one of them is shutting down the priv shutting down privilege which means we can shut down the pc and changing the time zone and yada yada all those basic permissions which any user can do but we need the juicy content fam <laughs> yeah boy we need the administrator access so we need all the privileges unlocked for us and we're gonna make that happen so what we're gonna do in this video is we will use a post exploitation tool known as the local exploit suggester post exploitation tools what's that post exploitation tools as the name suggests are basically exploits or tools which you use after gaining access into a system after doing the exploit so we have already exploited into the system right so let's use some post exploitation tools metasploit is famous for that so we will use local exploit suggester, which will basically scan the system for all vulnerabilities and give us exploits to crack into those vulnerabilities. Easy things, it just does everything for us. So to do use this local exploit suggester, just type in run. And since we're using post exploitation tools, just type in post slash multi since we're scanning the entire system. And we're doing reconnaissance, we're collecting information. So post multi recon and the name of the exploit which is local exploit suggester so we're gonna run this tool hit enter and give it some time now give it a few minutes since it's going through the entire system maybe go grab yourself a cup of coffee while this is going on now for this system it's not going to take much time because this is a genuinely vulnerable machine it was made vulnerable by trihackme but if you're doing this on someone else's pc do not uh, expect it to finish really fast now I'd say you take the person's permission before doing this because doing this without someone's permission is illegal and it counts as cybercrime. So this video is only intended to show you how people do it and how you can protect yourself against such things. Now there's a lot of ways to fix vulnerabilities. You can go through various Google articles which tell you how to fix a particular vulnerability in your system. So maybe you can try this out on your own laptop 
and see what vulnerabilities you have, what problems you might have, try to fix them yourself. It's not very difficult, just Google it and it will help you a lot. So right now, let us talk about UAC. What is UAC? Well, UAC is basically a Windows protocol which only enables administrators to do certain things, which the default users are not allowed to do. Well, that's not what the exact definition of UAC says on Google, but I just tried to make it simplified for you guys. So just take it as a protocol which only enables admins to do things and not default users. Now, this is a problem for us because this UAC isn't letting us do anything. We gotta bypass it. If you see, the first exploit says, bypass UAC event VWR. So convenient, the first one itself. And it says the target appears to be vulnerable to this particular exploit. So it's even better. So we will use this exploit. Now you can go over the other ones if you want. If you have time on your hands, check out the other exploits and see how they work. Just copy the exploit, paste it on Google and see what kind of PC is vulnerable to this and what you can do with this. So in this video, we are using the bypass UAC exploit. So just copy in the name of the exploit right here and just go back into your MSF console. Now we are inside meter preter, so we want to background this and go back into MSF console. To do that, just press Ctrl Z, hit Y and enter. Back into MSF 5. And we used icecast header in the previous exploit, we don't need this anymore. We need the bypass UAC. So just type in use, Ctrl Shift V to paste the name you copied from here and hit enter. So now we are using bypass UAC as our weapon. Let's set some ammo inside, set payload. We are using the same payload which we used before, that's Windows Meter Preter Reverse TCP. Now why are we using this you may ask? Because once we gain access into the system, we bypass its UAC, we will get back into a Meter Preter session so we can continue on with our investigation, we can download files, we can list files and all that stuff. So we will use Meter Preter for the very same purpose. Once we're done, let's just do show options. And you might see we have two options here. One of them is for the module, which is the exploit. The other one is for the payload, reverse TCP. So for the module, the only thing we need is a session. Now, what does it mean by session? So if we type in sessions here, you might see that we have started MeterPreter on session number one, or ID one. Inside this dark PC, this guy is the one that we hacked. And this is the IP address of our victim. So this is the PC which we exploited into in the previous video and you can see its id is one so that's our session number that's what we got to set in so we will just type set session one once we're done with that let's just go back into show options and you can see the session has been set as one the next thing we need is in the payload options we got to set in the l host now since we're using try hack me i'm just gonna do ifconfig and you'll see that we have a bunch of interfaces here now, since we are using TryHackMe, we are going to use the TUN0 as our interface. So this is the IP address. This is our local host. But if you're doing this on your French PC or by your own network, you might want to select either WLAN0 if you're using a wireless adapter or ETH0 if you're using a bridged connection through an Ethernet cable. So this is supposed to be your IP address. But we are using TryHackMe, so we will use this TUN0. Let's copy this, let's set lhost as ourself and show options one last time to see if everything is done properly, session has been set and lhost lport is leave it as it is and we are ready. Now you can do run if you're a very boring person or make it a little bit cool by typing in exploit. I mean it does sound cool now doesn't it? So as you see after you've run the exploit, it starts a reverse TCP handler, which was our payload and it will start the exploit. Now it's going to try and bypass the UAC. So first it will check if there is a UAC in the first place, if a UAC does exist. And as you see, it is enabled. So right now it's checking the level and we are a part of the administrators group. So we have gained administrator access. Now it needs to remove its tracks and keep our access confirmed, not let the system remove us. For that, we have to run this event vwr.exe on the system, which will guarantee us our stay, which is like a backdoor for us. 
So basically it has run all of its processes, it has created a new meter operator session number 2 or ID2 and it cleans up its traces from the registry. Once it is done you might see we have come back into meter operator and if I just quickly background the session control Z Y enter and type in sessions you should see we have two sessions now. Now why the two sessions? Because the first one was the one with the default user. Now since we used UAC bypass we have gained into a second meter operator session. This is the one where we are administrator. As you see, everything is the same over here except this port, which has been changed. So keep that in mind. So to use the second session, we have to type in sessions dash I, which stands for interact. Which session you want to interact with? Paste in its ID, which is two. We want to interact with session two. Press enter and we are using meter operator session two. So now if I do Let's see our privileges. So just type in get privs. Oh wow, we have a lot of privileges. As you see, this is nothing compared to what we had previously. If I just scroll up, you might see this is all we had before as a default user. But now, after cracking into the machine, we have so many things we can do. So right now we are administrator. We have control over the entire PC. If I type in LS, it's probably going to take us to the system 32 folder of the PC, which is administrator only, which means it will take time since then. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There's so many files over here. As you see, this is all administrator protected. And well, even if it wasn't administrator protected, it's just that we cannot copy or download any of these files without having administrator privileges. So there was no point, you can just view the files, not download or do anything to them. So there you go, we have administrator privileges, we have gained access into the system, bypass the UAC, and we have successful connection. So this is the video guys, this is the second video. I might make a third video where we will be talking about something called as looting, which basically stands for going through the system and looking for important files or important folders which you might want to consider downloading and shifting your processes like you're jumping between processes because each and every process which is running on this system has a, let's say a basic architecture which is 64-bit or 32-bit now some processes support 62-bit some might support 32-bit so you can jump around these processes and take a look at a lot other files which are usually not accessible through meter creator directly so you can shift processes and uh, you can choose a process which has complete access over the system you know the ones where you just go and run as administrator all the time if we use those processes we basically have control over the entire system so we will talk about looting in the next video for today this is it administrator access escalation privilege escalation and there you go now, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more such videos. And maybe share this with your friends who are doing this for their own study maybe, or who are planning to get into cybersecurity as myself. So this video might really help someone because it's pretty interesting, it's fun to perform, and you gain a lot of information out of this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.